All right, folks, and we are back with more Mad Games Tycoon. Um, last time we made ourselves a brand new engine. Uh, we had the breakout success that was Box Out. And we are going to, I believe, try to continue capitalizing on that by releasing a sequel. Uh, we can change some of our stuff. Um... I don't really think we want to, but we are going to use the quad base engine for this. Now that we have our own engine, uh, this is just going to be box out two. I'm just going to go on the Apple and the personal computer. Uh, actually, let's remove those real quick. Uh, yeah, the Upple's market share has tanked. The PC has 47%. Um, yeah, the Upple is tanked out. Uh, it's going to be more expensive. What's a new-ish system? Because this came out a while ago. This came out about a year ago. We are going to go with the Intel Visual as our console for this game. Really, more towards casual gamer. Okay. Okay, yeah. No, I could have told you it sold really well. Thanks. Uh, is there a better copy protection? No. Alright. Uh, we're gonna add in Russian and Spanish for languages. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna push this out. I will say, getting Box Out, I have such a breakout success so early on, was so good for us. Speaking of, actually, let me check my staff. Uh, okay, he's good at skill games and PC speaker sound. All right. I didn't actually look at what he was talented in. Uh, he probably won't honestly stay on our programming team. That's okay. Alright, all the genres are starting to come out. Oh man, I need this game to be a success! So I can keep pushing the studio. Yeah, we're not doing anything with consoles. It's too expensive. Okay, there's the new copy protection for our next game. Uh, find a publisher. This is a puzzle game. That's... Alright. Uh, God, no one that we know really wants to push this. Uh, I'm gonna actually sell this through... Blue Ocean. Uh, they're gonna pay us the same amount as Kremlins, but their fan base is puzzle. Uh, three platform. Okay. Alright, keep going. At least get over 60. Thank you. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Dude, look at our control and our gameplay. That's hype. The graphics look pretty good. A little polish could go a long way. The sound falls flat. There has been a lot better. The controls define perfection. These are the best controls I've seen in a game. The gameplay of the game is hard to beat. Well done. The game isn't too bad, but it could definitely use some improvement. Alright, well, you know what? Whatever. 
I have full confidence that this is going to make us a lot of money. Oh my god, this is going to make us a lot of money. And someone licensed our engine. We're not going to get a whole lot up front from them, but they are going to pay us big time in the 20% profit sharing. Come on. Yep. Really, Castle Master? What is Castle Master? Get that out of here. No. Alright, well we didn't win, that's fine. Uh, we are into week four, it is time to start developing our update pack. Uh, which is going to be a bug blast. Uh, new campaigns, new graphics, new game modes. And you know, we'll throw new objects in there too. Make it a, make it a good update. I should have probably started this a week ago. Oh no. Yeah, I should have started it a week ago. You've reached the third year to make your game is known. You should build a marketing department. Marketing is now unlocked. We don't have space for marketing. Marketing is for people who aren't working out of a garage. Uh, no, 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 no. I just need to get save game. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That's doing well. Uh, I do want to start my next update pack a little bit early, just because that one came in a little bit late. Uh, we're going to do another bug blast. Uh, new sounds, new campaigns, new game modes, new graphics. It's going to be a little pricey, but this game is making us plenty of money. Yeah, I... Uh... Alright. Push that update quick. Oh my god. Yeah, updating your games in this is amazing, though. It, just, it keeps them alive for so much longer, and you make so much more money than you spend on the updates. Yeah, if I had gotten that out earlier, we would have been fine. Uh, we now have enough money to produce our own games. Uh, we do not have space for a production room. We have over a million dollars now. Let's go. Uh, I think I'm going to let Box Out die here. Okay, I'm going to get both of you out, and we are going to uh, change the room size. We're going to stretch this down and throw a door there. I might get rid of the bathroom, honestly. Yeah, you guys don't need a bathroom. What you need is a marketing room. Okay, what can I shove in here? Actually, so yeah, we're going to put a trash can there. We're going to put the electric heating there. We're going to put the fire extinguisher. Really? Come on. Fine, whatever. Um, first aid there. Gonna throw a fan into the room. A water cooler. Okay, I do have space for two things up there. What is gonna be the best option? Yeah, I'm not gonna have space for a copy machine there. Yeah, no, it looks like our only copy machine right now is going to be... Actually, we can do it this way. No, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're gonna take the trash can, move it up here. 
The med box is going to go up there. I don't have cabinets in the room. That's okay. I don't know if they actually have to be able to reach them or not. I've never actually, like, figured that out. Uh, filing cabinet. Okay. Um, change room size. It's going to stay the exact same size, but the door is moving over. Oh, there's not enough space for them to do that. Okay, that's fine. I want to move the fan a little bit closer to the middle, just so it's not in my way. Uh, we're going to put a copier in here right behind his desk, because he doesn't need to be able to move. We need a trash can. Trash can... Uh, yeah, they don't need light or things. Uh, but yes, we are going to let Box Out die. And they're going to research scrolling. I do want to upgrade our engine. Very nice. Profit sharing is just going to make us money. Uh, our credit limit is already up to 2.25 million. That's nice. Uh, box out made us almost a million. That's beautiful. Uh, we're gonna research a new topic. Um, let's do martial arts. Because I do want to research fighting as a genre. And, and we kind of have time now to just kind of push through things. Uh, where do I want our other... ...category to be? We want it to be something that will work well with martial arts. Um, boxing could do fine. Speaking speaking of box out, yeah, let's do boxing. Uh, we don't have any games currently in production. I'm not gonna waste the money going to that this year. At least we're not going to. We will next year. Um, and we are going to get fighting. Oh, our dude is teleporting. Now, one thing I haven't really shown off is that you can actually not release a game when it finishes. Uh, we will eventually be doing that. Just not yet. Stop teleporting. Why can you even do that? I don't understand. Okay. Fighting is almost done, and then we are going to try to figure out how to make a fighting game. Which will probably... Cost us a lot of money. <laughs> In reality. Oh well, if we get low on money, we can just release the sequel to Vox Out again. It'll be fine. Uh, there are no new features. They're gonna both go in there, develop a new engine. Which is gonna be... The Ultra Engine 1. It is gonna be optimized for fighting games. We're gonna throw in all of the new features. And this one is actually going to be 25% for 5,000. Uh, one of the nice things with the engines in this game is you can really milk your competition for money early on. 
Uh, it's a great way to just make money if you're not producing games. Because uh, eventually we can be taking like half of their profits and just giving the engine away for free and like all of the other studios will just eat them up like candy. Uh, we are under a million, so after this engine is finished, we are going to try to make a fighting game. Uh, and we'll see how much money we lose on that. I don't even think we released a game this year. I think we've just been... Yeah, no, like, we didn't even release a game. We've just been researching, and now we're working on the engine. We had nothing to even submit for that. Wrong two. Okay. The 1983 sequel to Wrong, which I believe is supposed to be Pong. Um, develop a new game. It is going to be retail. It's going to be for... Adults, it is going to be a martial arts boxing game, and it is going to be fighting. Actually, arcade is in style, so we're going to make it an arcade fighter. Actually... Mmm, this is hard. Because our engine is specialized to fighting, but arcade is in style. That's okay. Arcade is going to be the subgenre. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, that's so stupid. Oh my god. Uh. We're gonna call it Immortal Combat. I mean, you want, it, it's a fighting game, but your health bar can never go down. Uh, our other platform got taken off the market. Awesome. Um, oh boy, this is a hard choice. Uh, ZY Spec Tech. And, yeah, we'll do the Commander C-63. And now uh, we know nothing about this. Uh, we are going to want to buy new copy protection. Yeah, we have no fan letters giving us any indication on stuff for box out which is unfortunate uh okay we want to set everything to the middle and then i want to try to figure out what to do um i think we're going to want to lean towards gameplay game length functions a little bit towards core gamer and beginner friendly I have no idea how this game is going to go. Uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like we're going to want good gameplay. Good graphics. Probably a little bit better technology. We have too many things selected. Uh, we need to get rid of three of them. We're not going to have scrolling. Uh, we're not going to have scripted AI. And I guess we're not going to have save game support. I might need to go and research B plus games after this drops. Depending on how much money we're going to lose on it. <laughs> I do not believe this game will probably make us money. This might actually lose us all of our fans. But we'll deal with that when it comes around. Yeah, let's...
let's see. Hmm. It's because I have that plant in there. Actually, no. The plant can get moved to there. That can get moved. Those can get moved. I'm just kind of getting myself prepped. Do we actually have any good staff that we can hire? Uh, see, you're really good at game design. Second, 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 third. Um, you are kind of like all over the place. But you also specialize in fighting games. Uh, we can build a staff room. We're not doing that. We are going to keep just research, marketing, and our development room for right now. Eventually, we will move to the next building. Uh, do we want to release it? No. Uh, your office work is 30. Your office work is 15. Your office work is 10. Wow, you all are kind of terrible um, at office work, except for my one new dude. Uh, 16 color support. And you guys are going to... No... Create a new marketing campaign for uh, Immortal Combat. Oh, that does nothing. All right, uh, stop automation after this iteration. Um. Let's do local magazines, and we are not going to auto-repeat. Okay, you are both going to come over here to help with research, and we are going to release Immortal Combat. Oh, how is this going to go? I don't know. Wow, we only have... I think at this point, our relation in three and the extra two dollars per copy sold is just going to be better if we publish it with Kremlins. Oh boy, that's bad. Yeah, good genre combination. Great. That is going to just lose us a lot of money. That's fine, though. Oh, no. I think that's going to win us worst game of the year. <laughs> I really do. We're going to participate this year. And we're just going to present... Immortal Combat. Oh no, it's gonna win its worst game of the year. And we're still just gonna lose all of our fans. Uh, let's try to keep this alive a little bit longer so it can at least make us into the positives. Yeah. I kind of want this game to at least... It, it's so close to making money. It's like right on the fence. I don't think it will. But it'll be close. Oh no, it actually did. Okay, never mind. I lied. Uh, we just need to make... Uh, 
the next fighting game better. Um. Yeah, we're gonna drop 100k and research B plus games. I'm fine with letting Immortal Kombat die now. To be fair. Uh, just the fact that it made profit is good enough for me. Yeah, it's gone. That's okay. Uh, building is now out. Okay. I'm not doing anything with any of those. We have another engine license. Uh, we have 53 weeks of... Arcade. So... We're gonna actually develop a new engine. Which is gonna be optimized for Arcade. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna make this Sphere Engine 1. Uh, it is gonna be 30% profit sharing for a 5k dev kit cost. Wait. I don't think I yeah, I don't think I put the features in. <laughs> That would have been a mistake. Yeah, much, much more like what I expected. Oh boy, First Ninja did not make a lot of money. It wasn't our game though, so it's fine. A couple games on an engine and it'll pay itself off. And I think we're going to wrap this up with releasing another sequel to box out, because, um, we kind of need money again. We're down to half a million. And we are pretty soon going to lose all of our fans. I'm calling it now, Immortal Kombat is winning us worst game of the year. No question. Oh boy. How much is it going to be to improve quad base? 126k, but we can pump that up to 30% profit sharing. Oh no, here it comes. Bank manager best soundtrack. Ew, there it is. Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah. I will say the box out has just helped us so much. Okay, uh, we're gonna make a sequel to Box Out 2. We're gonna make it a B-plus game. It's gonna be... Puzzle Arcade, I guess. Um, quad Base 1 Plus. It's a business puzzles game. Of course it is. Can I actually make it a puzzles business game? The emphasis is going to be on the puzzles. Box out three. Hey, May. 
you know, pay my bills. The business puzzle game makes sense. But I also need it to pay my bills. Uh, PC is good at 42. That's 13.5. Um, month 6. Five. Mm. Yeah, we're just going to put it on the Zytac. That's fine. They want it more towards casual gamer. Okay. No, I need to buy the new copy protection, thank you. Not use the worst one on the market. No fan letters. What's the point of that? You, you don't get any fan letters, really. Uh, we are going to add... Korean and French. Oh no, this actually is going to cost us... Well, I mean at this point, it's going to cost us a lot either way. Yep. Alright, this game needs to do well. Uh, officially. Or we are going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, I think I'm going to go until I get this game out. Which, we're going to do some marketing for it as well. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. But I do kind of need everyone here for the development process. There are no new features. Okay. Um... I do want to set up casinos to research, because I do want to do an economic simulation. Nice quad base one got uh, licensed. Yeah, the more licenses we sell, the more money we'll have coming in for games. And that's going to be really nice for us, because that'll also help pay our bills. Uh, the upper muck is out. Okay. Uh, by the time... Huh. Yeah, no, I'll take a free 60k. We might have actually paid off the sphere engine by this point. Unfortunately, no, like, big hits have come out with our engines. No, I think there's there's actually one that I think was pretty good that used our engine. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is going to be our marketing instead of marketing. Okay, a lot of fans that we can lose when we win worst game of the year with something. Hopefully we won't, though. <laughs> I just don't have confidence. Uh, one of your games has reached enough graphic points. You now have access to the graphic studio. Uh, no. That is big and expensive. That is not for us right now. There we go. There's the quality assurance room. That is big. That is actually big enough that we are really quickly going to destroy the marketing. And we are going to put in quality assurance in its place. Um, two desks. I, w see, I wish I could just like relabel the room, but I can't. Uh, we do have to, like, actually go and, like, replace all of these items. Yeah. Electric heating. Fire extinguisher. Uh, trash can. Oh, I'm missing a cabinet, that's right.
Yeah, it costs, uh, money, but I think it is overall going to be worth it. No. So you and, I believe, you are... Uh, who's actually better? Yeah, the two of you are my best office workers. You are going to start removing bugs from... Pay my bills. Okay, that's gonna pay my bills. Speaking of getting bills paid... That's actually amazing for us. All right. I, yeah, I kind of want Box Out 3 to really do well, so... We're going to research Game Balance and the next one really quickly, and we're going to apply those to uh, Box Out 3. Actually, do we have enough money to research both of them? That's a good question. We should be okay on money. If we're not, I can take out a temporary loan until pay my bills. Uh, pays my bills. Uh, this should actually finish up a, a pretty good lineup. You can go back in there. Uh, you can actually sit in there, because I don't have enough. Oh. Okay, yeah, we actually do have enough to start another research here. Not split-screen multiplayer, though. Um, we're just going to start a... I'm going to start Cars, because eventually I'm going to want to do sports games. Oh yeah, they're going to knock that out real quick. Okay, okay, that's good. That's actually really good. I really need to release pay my bills, though. <laughs> I'm out of money. Yeah, we didn't release anything that's going to be on that list. Come on, I just need to get this game out the door. So our episode is almost going on to 40 minutes, and it's a little bit longer than I want these episodes to be. Okay, here we go. This is a puzzle arcade. Unfortunately, puzzle is no longer trending, but that's okay. Uh, your fans like skill games. Infcom likes puzzle games. I think... We are going to go with the higher market strength and the one less dollar per share and not quite being at the fan base. Because uh, we do have market relation with them. Come on. Okay, that's not as good as I was hoping it would be, but it's not the worst. Okay. We're just gonna get everyone into here. I uh, wanna see. Yeah, that's expensive. Okay. It's definitely going to bring us profits at the end of the day. Uh, this is where we start our update. Um, new game modes, new campaigns, uh, new graphics. Th 
this update should be coming out at about the right time. Okay, there we go. Perfect timing on the update. Uh, that's going to shoot it back up. It's already made us 115,000. That is a success. So, folks, this is going to be where we're going to wrap up episode two. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. Uh, if you think I'm doing something wrong, let me know. Do all those YouTube things. Um, yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time for the next episode of Mad Games Tycoon. Peace.